So in this video, um, we'll try to find the derivative f prime of x uh, based on the definition I gave in the last video. And let's look at just one simple example. Uh, let's look at the uh, function f of x equals x squared. And how to find the derivative of f based on the limit definition. And um, there's a remark I want to add, and there are so many differentiation rules we'll learn later on. And in that case, we don't need to apply the limit definition all time. But uh, for now, based on the limit definition, let's try to find the function f prime of x. Let's do it. Let's do it. So um, we have to look at the definition limit h goes to 0 for a big fraction. Uh, the top is f of x plus h minus f of x. The bottom is h. And uh, let's try to resolve this limit. Now, the first term here. Based on this uh, function x squared, it's just x plus h, the whole thing squared, right? It's minus f of x, which is x squared. And the bottom is, of course, just h. Now, it is your job by, by the use of uh, your knowledge in the high school algebra. So please try to find the limit. Please try to find the limit. And uh, let's try to do it together. This limit is uh, the same as by expanding what you have in the numerator side. We try to expand this bracket x plus h times x plus h. So it's going to be x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And uh, now uh, please look at this problem. You see the x squared actually is cancelled. So after cancelling this, what we have is limit h goes to 0. And now the numerator is simplified to um, 2xh plus h squared, right? Because the x squared is already cancelled. And the numerator is divided by h as the denominator. And now are you able to simplify this limit? And um, I would like to point out one thing. I would like to point out one thing. You see, uh, based on the first step, like a kind of a shortcut hint to finding limit. Can you see what's happening when h is zero? Uh, when x h is zero, what you have is something like this. And it is zero over zero. And uh, I described in earlier videos already, zero divided zero means uh, something called undetermined. And undetermined means you don't know the answer at this stage. And please don't be confused. Zero divided by zero, you don't know the answer. If you have zero divided by non-zero, then it's going to be zero. You can use calculator. But uh, zero divided by zero is special. Undetermined means you don't know the answer now. It does not mean that you cannot find the answer. So um, let's use some high school algebra to keep simplifying what you have here. So uh, let's do it here. Limit h goes to zero. Now the bottom is just h. And the top, by high school algebra, you're able to take a common factor h, right, from the two terms. And after taking h out, the first term becomes 2x plus the second term is just h. And now you see h is cancelled. So what you have is the limit h goes to 0 for 2x plus h. And uh, now uh, I think it's very good now because I can just uh, take h be 0 as a limit problem. So you have this. So it means that the answer comes out to be 2x. So what does it mean? Uh, it means after resolving the limit we have, we actually found that the derivative f prime of x is actually 2x. And as you see, this function is relatively simple. It is uh, f of x equals x squared. It is not something extremely difficult, but it takes us maybe four to five steps just to find the function f prime of x. And in the future, in the calculus course, we usually try to uh, take some shortcuts if possible to save some time. We don't want to spend like uh, 10 steps or maybe 15 to 30 minutes just to find the derivative of one function f by resolving the limit because it just takes time for us. We try to simplify it. So in the future, I uh, will have many ways to, um, to uh, apply some rules to help us get the um, derivative f prime of x quickly without looking at the limit all time. So uh, this way of solving the f prime, which we call the derivative of f of x, is based on what we call the definition of limit for the derivative f of x. And um, now please look at the problem I posted here. Um, now let's say you have a function y equals x squared. And for those of you who are good with this kind of things, y equals x squared is, uh, 
is the shape of the graph, which is like a parabola, right? Y equals x squared. Let's say you have a point x equals five. And um, please recall the meaning of tangent in the last video. In the last video, I explained it already. The tangent line is like this. And um, this is the tangent at uh, x equals five. So um, now, I would like to find the slope of this straight line. And uh, please recall the fact that slope of this straight line is just the same slope of uh, tangent at equal at the point x equals five uh, for the graph is uh, actually just the same as limit h goes to zero for f of five plus h minus uh, f of five divided by h. And mathematically, uh, in a precise way it's really just the same as our definition of the derivative f prime but now you're computing this uh, derivative f prime at the point five and please recall from the last page we have done it already that f prime of x is actually 2x right so uh, we can just use it directly the slope is just 2 times 5 because i replace 6 by 5 so the slope is actually 10. and um so you see if you have the function f prime of x, the derivative of f of x with u, it is actually so easy to find the slope of tangent at any particular point. Like this case, we are looking at the point x equals 5. You just have to simply replace x by 5 into the f prime of x to get the slope of tangent. And that's one of the most important points of uh, why we look at the derivative of f, because a derivative of f let us find the slope of tangent quite easily.